Hello everybody, this is the Nerf Game Reviewer 331. Okay, that was pretty cool. Um, so this is a Nerf Game Review on the... Uh, I'm checking my head in there. <laughs> this is the uh, Nerf Game Review on the uh, Zombie Strike. I don't remember the name exactly. I think it was the Crossfire Bow from uh, Nerf or Hasbro, whatever you call it. And uh, so far it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool bow. I've had this for a few weeks. Um, sad to say, I was going to do a review on, uh, back then, but I just I was so busy with graduation party, and then uh, like Fourth of July came up, and then got caught up with that, and and so I'm going to do this review instead, uh, or after all that stuff is done. So uh, I guess the overview on this would be the uh, like I guess how it's how to put it together. This bow, this piece right here. Sorry, this piece right here, along with this piece and everything. This actually is the detached. It's like it actually comes detached when you get it first inside the box. And I know this is a very old Nerf gun. Technically, it's 2014, 2013, but it's already there's already been a lot of review, re reviews on this one, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. Anyway, the bow part of this got uh, is detached when you first get it inside the box. It's very simple. Just a fit, just align the uh, the slots with this bow piece, the middle piece at least, or, and then slide it in until until you just can't push it any further. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, and uh, yeah, then you're all set to go. You don't have to. The, I guess the good thing about all this is you don't have to put this this really thin string inside this little piece here, and then you know that would just make things a lot worse. But whatever. So, uh, let's see, the overview on this, there's, uh, like, a few holes, I don't understand why they put those in, maybe for style, maybe just for looks, I don't know, uh, but the thing I can point out right now is that there's a, a attachable, uh, strap hook here, another one here, let me move my hand, right here, I'm trying to align it with the light, <sighs> sorry, so, uh, let's see, it, the handle's kind of a weird handle. I mean, the trigger's pretty nice, but like, if you're if you're if your hand is, is really big like mine, like you can fit, you can fit like three fingers in, and I have one finger for the, for the trigger. It's a little cramped at first, but still pretty nice. Um, the ranges on this thing is amazing. Accuracy is actually pretty good, and the thing is, they're they're starting to do something new with the the dart chambering and such, where if you have a dart here. And a dart here, or sorry, a dart here. From if you have a dart from the top and the dart on the bottom, and you shoot the dart at the top, it'll immediately go to the dart at the bottom next time you prime it and shoot it. That's interesting, really interesting. All right. <clears throat> so uh, let's see. They also have some sights on here. This little sight here. Tack the rail stock attachment. I have not put a stock on this yet, just because normally because I would usually have a stock here in this house, but. I don't, and so I'm gonna try and get get to do that sometime. The tactical rail is pretty nice. I haven't put any attachments on the tactical rail, tactical rail so far. Um, I'm a little bit sick. Okay, so anyway, back to the review. Uh, I guess I'll just dive right into the pros and cons. The the pros of this crossbow crossfire bow. I guess the pros would be like it's it's like easy to prime. You don't have to like. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but for like a retailer or recon, there's usually a jam or two. This is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is pull this thing and put a dart in. That's pretty simple. Even like a complete nuke who's not not used to nerf could easily do this. Well, probably, but <laughs> not not saying any names or anything. But uh, second pro would be it's a true trigger or, tr or a nice trigger actually. The handle is pretty cramped for my hand because you know it's pretty. Well, hand's pretty big actually, so whenever I if I put it in like this, it's pretty cramped. But I'll put that as a con. Um, the range is pretty good. I don't know how far it goes. I mean, it goes pretty far. Uh, if I shot it from from outside my room to the other other side of the hallway, it might be a, a good 40, uh, 30, 40 feet. But it's, it could still go further because it hits like the the glass part of that door. But it's hard to explain and hard to see because obviously you're looking. 
you're looking at me, you're looking at the crossbow, and you're looking behind it at my wall, and that's really all you see. You don't see that door and everything. <laughs> so, um, the ammo capacity is four darts. Usually, usually in a, like a nerf, a nerf gun would usually have six darts in a clip. But you know, that's actually one of the things I wanted to, to see in like a crossbow version: have a clip inside of a crossbow. That make thing it would make things a little bit cooler. It'd be like a a crossbow with a clip capacity kind of thing instead of having to load darts individually. Although, although I don't know if some people would agree with me, I, I thought that would look pretty cool. So, uh, let's see. It comes with four zombie strike darts, forgot to mention that, and an instruction manual. The, uh, let's see, I already talked about the range. The accuracy is pretty good. If I shot it from, say, if I, if I had a dart with me, I don't, obviously, because I shot most of them out there. If I shot it, say if this air conditioner, which is give me a second, right there, if I shot that air conditioner like right in the vent, it, it'd be pretty close, pretty almost dead on too. Yep, you just saw part of my room. There's that pink llama thing in the background, and its head. Um, let's see what else. Oh, sorry. Um, Reload time is pretty easy. Easy. I mean, all you have to do is jam four darts in here and then pull this thing. You're all set. Uh, rate of fire really depends on if you're if you're like a, like I said in the last review, a steady shot where you just go that steady, 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 or you're just one of those people who just go like this. Yeah, something like that. But um, yeah. I guess the specialty of this gun, it's a crossbow version of Nerf. You don't really see those many, uh, you don't see many crossbow versions of Nerf as often. Although there is that rare one, but I, I'm not, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, the big bad bow is uh, obviously a bow, and this is a crossbow. But what, what I'm, the point I'm trying to get to is, uh, there's not many bows or crossbows that shoot darts. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of them that shoot real arrows, but yeah, so yeah. You could probably tell I'm kind of I'm kind of out of it today, so please excuse that for for this review. Um, what else? And uh, yeah, I think I'll go right into the cons of this gun. The cons, I like I said before, the handle is pretty like this thing right here, this thing here, not the trigger, but this little gap here. Like my hand is kind of cramped, and it feels. Feels kind of rough on my hand, even though it's smooth plastic. It still feels kind of rough on my hands because you know it's it just feels cramped. Is what I meant. I meant to say. Uh, I've experienced a few problems where the darts will actually come out of the gun as soon as I shoot a, a dart. So say like I have a, a bullet up here and a dart here. I'll fire that one, but this one will pop out and fall off and land on the ground. That's really bad if you're in a Nerf war because it's, it's common sense, I mean, it's you pull the trigger, you shoot one, but you accidentally shoot the other one, and that falls out and you don't see it, well, you're one dart less. It keeps happening over and over, and you're going you're gonna to lose darts pretty quickly. Quickly. Um, what else? Uh, I guess another, well, I forget to mention, uh, another pro is that unmodified, it shoots pretty much any dart. Busby, Arizona, uh, Nerf, whatever, it shoots pretty much any dart, except next generation darts. Those next generation darts are about the size of a mega dart. Pretty uh, thick, something like this, this size, this long, something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the cons. Uh, the, I guess another, I guess another idea might be for Nerf is if they add like a little foam padding on here, so you could, or like a little foam spice, so you can like do a melee kind of, you know, like, if someone's up close, you could do, like, a melee attack, or, like, that, so, something like that, <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, for the Nerf Crossfire Bow, from Zombie Strike Nerf, I give this probably a 9 out of 10, uh, not so many flaws, um, there could be, uh, in my opinion, there could be some things to improve upon, not very many things, maybe one or two, like the clip capacity it could be like an actual clip on the bottom where you can like pull this, the dirt goes in, and then boom. 
that'd be pretty cool but that'd be also pretty hard to do just looking at it um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the review or tried to at least because you know i'm kind of out of it today so yeah see you guys later oh before i end the video i saw the sling fire uh from lord drag i've also seen the thunderbow and i've seen the demolisher i think of what it was called that grenade launcher with a strife kind of looking gun that all three of those guns look really cool i'm planning on getting those really soon so i can do reviews on them so hope you guys enjoy the review and i'll see you guys later